Hello, all you lovely beer bastards out there. I apologize for the bit of a wait and inconsistency on the scheduled updates of my videos, but I'm hoping to be relatively more back on track as my weekend. I'm trying to do something here. Anyways, I'm trying to get everything back on track as my weekends, which is when I try to do all my stuff typically, has just been rude. I'm trying to get all my stuff done on weekends, but I've been pretty occupied with family and friends and all that other stuff for like the past month or so, and it doesn't look like it's going to be letting up anytime soon, so I'm trying to work around my schedule, yada yada yada, long story short, here we are. So I have the last beer that my friend Noah uh, gave me from when he came over and visited from Minnesota, and that would be, yeah, I know, took a long time to get to it, but Sheep's Head American Bitter Ale from Brow Brothers Brewing Company in uh, Marshall, Minnesota, established 2006. So I have no idea where this is in Minnesota. I did not look at that part up. All I know is that this has it's uh, American Bitter Ale, I'm guessing maybe like a pale ale. Um, I did try it once and I don't exactly remember. I was drinking a lot of other mirrors and stuff, so pretty sauced at that point. But it's got 77 IBU, it looks like, and about 7.7% alcohol content. So let's uh, hop right into this. All right. Very dark gold, light amber color, about two finger head, very rocky. Looks like we got a lot of carbonation in there. So that's uh, looking good for starters. Oh, it definitely tastes like bitter and almost has like sour to it. Yeah, it's not a pleasant mix. It's not. I'm doing, I am getting some malts and a little bit of bready, like a little bit of bready malts and, and bitter hops. So let's dive right into this. Yeah, it's not, um, it's not as hoppy as you would expect a pale ale to be really it's got a little bit more of a um forward malt or maltiness to it it's not very biscuity or anything but from the malt it doesn't have it's not picking up any you know caramel any toffee no you know chocolate or anything that nothing that you would get out of caramelized malts And just like a very bitter, like almost like a, a very piney bitterness to it, but it, not a strong one. It's definitely pronounced though. It's more akin to like what you would get out of a West Coast style ale. So all in all, I'd have to say there's nothing real. The balance to this isn't very great in my opinion although the flavors aren't that well pronounced but they're also like really really clashing nothing's really mixing into this so it's making like a really weird experience of like okay malts and then bitter and there's like a little bit of sour in there that doesn't really fit i'm not sure what's going on there but I mean, if somebody were to give me this and say like, oh, hey, have this, like, yeah, okay, I'll have like one beer of this or whatever, but I'm not going to go out of my way to find this and buy it and enjoy. I'm not really particularly enjoying this. I mean, I'll drink it, but, you know, 
it's not what I would rate as a top here. In fact, I would I would rate it probably around a four and a half. There's just not really anything I'm enjoying about this, but it's you know, it's at least better than domestic beers and stuff. You can see lacing there now that I've drink I'm drinking some. So you can tell there's a good amount of carbonation in there. But yeah, not really particularly fond of this. So four and a half. Stay thirsty, bastards. Are you done?